Reflection is a really important tool as a creative photographer, the ability to reflect on your work, but also the ability to use reflections in your work. Speaking of which, I've got a couple of very reflecty, curvy spoons here. Let's get creative. To begin with, I'm just going to use this chopping board. It's a chopping board I've used before actually as a background. There's nothing special, it's just glass with these really colourful squares as a background. And my thinking is that these squares are going to reflect quite nicely on the underside of... Uh, I'll use this spoon first of all. So, it's going to set the spoon down there like that. I don't have a macro setup or anything here. So, if you have a two time zoom, um, then maybe that might help you just fill frame with your subject. Now, the bit that I'm interested in today is, is the reflections and they're actually quite dark there. So I'm gonna bring in my trusty little friend, just a bit, of a, a bit of light and just position that just kind of off to one side over here and just see if that kicks in a little bit of, of light. There we go. So we're just getting a few more useful reflections there. What I'm going to do is um, just use a little pre-focusing technique. So I'm just going to lock and hold the focus and exposure here. And then I can push in myself. Now this is just going to stop the, the camera on the phone from, from hunting and potentially losing me the uh, shot that I want common tip for macro photography of any kind. Not that this is strictly macro photography, but it's kind of up close. So I'll just try a few different compositions. I've got, I've got one hand here just lifting up the angle of the spoon just so I can get even more of these reflections. I'm trying to frame out my background. Okay, that's fun. Let's have a look at what else we've got. I'm just going to keep the chopping board here for now, but um, we're in my kitchen at the moment. Uh, cookbooks are great backgrounds for this kind of reflection photography because they've got the words that you would expect a cookbook to have, the, the recipe, but also you've got beautiful, colourful pictures as well. So uh, here we've got this recipe. There's these three little um, plate bowl things over there. I'm going to see if I can use this to create an interesting background, well, foreground, just a kind of a context for my spoon to sit in. So I'm just going to put my spoon kind of in the middle there. I'm not sure if this light's going to help me on this one or not, or just create some, some shadows. I'll just put you out of the way for now. And let's see, let's see what we get. And oh, okay. So that's quite interesting. Again, I, I've got down low. I, I feel as though that's the, that's the key to this. And it's, it's all kind of abstract. We've, we've really busted that myth, haven't we, that you don't get a shallow depth of field on a, on a smartphone camera because, as you can see here, again, we're still on the, on the two times zoom here, but you can see here we have. Uh, and just following the lines of the text, uh, we can see how they're out of focus at the bottom. They come into focus just where they meet the spoon. So you get the reflection there. You know their words, you can't really make out what the words are, but you can see them. And then just over the top, we can just discern the food. So there's one more background that I want to try. Um, and there's no words in this one, but they're his music. So it's some, some sheet music that I took from the piano next door. And these, these notes, these uh, crotchets and quavers are pretty universal. Uh, and I just love the way that they interact and they dance with one another. I'm hoping that'll make an interesting background for, uh, for a, a reflection shot. So that's um, similarly in a way to the cookbook. Let's just line myself up with these are semi-quavers. I'm just going to put my spoon right above one of those. I think I will 
again just need my little lamp here so I'll just put that off to one corner and once again let's uh, let's see what we can do with a bit of music there oh lovely okay so I might just want to just adjust the adjust my angle here there we are so I want to bring that piece of those notes, those notes there. Ah, that's beautiful and sharp. Just sure. Right into the middle. So I've got the hint. This is a little bit different to the cookery book one in as much as we're seeing the main image in its reflection. We can kind of discern that there's something on the page, but we're actually seeing our main image, our main subject as the reflection in the in the spoon. So tap and hold there and away we go. It's going to bring the exposure down just a little again just to kill that background but my my subject is plenty plenty bright enough there. Make sure I'm not accidentally clipping either side of my spoon. Lots of options there. Get creative with your background. Try different size spoons uh, maybe you know ones that have got a much much bigger uh, bigger spoony bit on the bottom. Maybe you maybe you're allowed to bend your spoon. I wasn't, um, but yeah, I think I've got lots of really interesting creative shots there. Let's see which ones came out. This image taken from my chopping board. I love it. It's got colours. It's got lines. I I didn't line up my my shot with the horizontals and the verticals of the of the chopping board of the squares on there and I'm pleased that I didn't because it just takes my eyes in in one direction and then with the reflections on the bottom of the spoon my eyes are taken in another direction and you lose the sense of the spoon it looks like it's a I don't know um, it could be a bubble yes a bubble that's been blown and has landed on this on this uh, this board and has misshapen somewhat and it could just be on the point of popping but thankfully we've been able to capture that moment just before it does and it's I love it. it it's got the sharps in the right place it fades away nicely into the background in terms of light and in terms of focus and it's just a really interesting image this image of the music score could almost be almost be a black and white shot. It's not because there are some very subtle shades in the foreground and I can just make out a bit of background as well. I, with the exposure trick that I pulled I, I managed to get rid of most of the background and it certainly doesn't distract me. Instead my eyes are drawn to the foreground and the bottom of the spoon here because of the angle and because of the subject our eyes are drawn to the reflection mainly which is which is beautiful. I think this is a very uh, captivating image. This image with a spoon in the cookbook conjures up a, a real air of mystery to me. I don't really know what it is, what I'm looking at. Of course I do because I took the picture, but putting my, putting my viewers' eyes in, the leading lines from the out of focus foreground right up to what compositionally two thirds of the way up the frame is the it's the optimum point where things are in focus and the lines of words leading me up there as well. I think that's actually very well executed. And then the handle of the spoon just takes off further up the image into the background and you're left wondering, well, what, is, what are they? Of course, they were the bowls of food, but you would never really know that. Um, and the words, you can see there are words, but you can't really read what they are. So there's lots of curiosity that this image uh, brings up lots of mystery, but also technically, I, I think it's uh, I think it's a lovely picture. Mm -hmm.